This is a demonstration of an Excel-based copy tool for Inventor. First, I'd like to go over why we made this tool. So, the built-in copying functionality in Inventor involves, um, we have a copy components. So, a copy, it can copy an entire assembly. So, if you go and select one, so we get them getting a selection, and it has options to copy the relationships. Um, generally, and there's not really a search room place, so what you end up having to do is give it prefixes and suffixes. So we want to copy the, we don't want to change out the part number or change out the complete file name. It's kind of a hassle to deal with. So, and then the other option is a tool called. Uh, Design Assistant. So how it how it works is you'll open a folder. You can open a file, and then it'll list all the references. And to actually do a copy in it, you have to change each one of these to copy, and you can group select them. But there's no again there's no search and replace tool, so you would have to go through and manually rename every one of them, which is a huge hassle. Um, there's another tool involving iLogic Copy which it's not really any better than the way Design Assistant does. If you have a subscription to Vault, it's got a pretty good copy tool in it. Um, it just You have to check things in and out constantly to be able to use it. Or it'll copy the wrong ref if you've moved ahead. So this is a tool we built that will do it all in Excel. So what we'll start off with this assembly that we have open is we'll go in here and we'll hit our button to load the refs in. So what that'll do is it'll go into the model and load all the load the assembly document, all of its reference children. So then when we choose we can choose a new name for everything. So let's go and change these over. So we can go to So we've changed them all over now. So now to do the copy, we're going to just hit our copy button. And then it'll go through and make a copy of every file. And then go through and replace the references. So one advantage of this process, especially versus the vault copy process or even the design assistant copy process, is those are both dependent on the apprentice server. So all that really means is your files have to be migrated. Since this is using native inventor, you don't have to deal with any of that. It will go ahead and it'll, it can migrate the files for you since we're our inventor. All right, so all of our references are everything's been changed over now. And if you wanted to, you can make another copy. And to also help out with making copies quick and efficient there's a settings file included with the application. So what you can do is this controls the settings for the copy. So you can enter a file path. So if we decided that we did not want to copy the parts for this assembly, so we can click here and type in parts. And now every time we do a copy now or load refs in, we won't get the parts in there. So if you have a folder of so this would be more likely if you have a folder that's involving uh, libraries. So but yeah, any fi any files anything that you wanted to skip so you can give it part of the file path or a whole file path. So if you wanted to copy an entire file path in there or just part of a file path or part of a file name, it'll skip anything that you give it. And, all right, thanks for watching.